hey students i know you are pretty much confident about excel now let's move to the next topic called sort and filter right so sort and filter will help you in a big data sets correct when you have a big data sets that time to add a sorting filtering how to filterize uh, from ascending to descending descending to ascending right when we have an average in place maybe if you want to add a custom filter you can do that as well now we are going a dip in the filter and sort of ms excel so stay tuned so this is the dummy data set again correct right hand side we have a dummy data set which we have uh, added sort and filter how we can use it will go step by step let's say you want to you want the departments in alphabetical order okay so what you can do just click on the home and then click on the sort a to z option right so we'll click over here a to z then second option is that uh, december amounts from largest to smallest click on the again december column I click on the december column and then home again correct home sort and filter largest to smallest continue current selection okay so this is the data set and again i'll do the control z because i have did only for the specific column if i want to do it for entire i'll click over here expand the selection and then this is done so entire content would be on the top correct i'll do again control z to be in the same position now you will filter the data so that only the bakery rows appear so press control a we need to press a control a to select entire thing of that particular table to select all then click on the home sort and filter again home sort and filter so when we apply the filter you will get the options like this for individual sorting correct like this okay on the department cell click on the filter and then select all checkbox check on this is the bakery so you can only see the data for the bakery one or maybe if you want only for daily you can do that as well it's complete your call how you want to analyze your data maybe read your data correct to filter this out you can use this alt dff again we have cleared that filter again alt dff added the filter similar fashion we have this filter option over here Control shift l as well for the shortcut key right uh, then we'll go to the next option now we have the sort by date sort by even color okay now you will be a bit surprised how oh, how we can do that in the ms excel so just carefully observe i'm doing that uh, for you okay if you want to do a sorting uh, in ms excel for uh, related to the dates right that time what you can do this is the dates and uh, we have this name food and a particular rate of these particular hotel right so how we can do that easily just right click sort oldest to newest so whatever old data is there date particular on that particular data you will get the date like this Control z again okay and you want a filter or maybe only yellow highlighted cells to be on the top or maybe bottom you can do that as well how you can do that click here filter by color see you can only see that color added data set correct so this is the overall uh, structure we have seen the basic uh, sorting how to add that and uh, how to do a sorting in dates colors right these are the typical things which we have covered in this series right now i'll go with the bit depth uh, in the filter section because uh, when we have a data sets uh, two to three columns right and uh, we want to ensure that we are ascending and descending based on the column and uh, adding a range or maybe giving the particular instruction for that particular cell 
then only we get the result right meaning so i'll show you the custom filter option okay so basically over here if you could see let me go to the top so i can show it better custom filtering okay first we'll see this option and then we'll uh, cover that up custom filtering yeah so now more ways to filter data on the hotel cell apply filter button click ok then number filters number filters only the above average so above average only this and then second filter I want to add a food right which is uh, greater than or maybe lesser than complete yolk or how you want to keep it I'm just keeping it a greater than so 25 and then okay so hotel range is average this and then food more than 25 is the only data for me okay so let me quickly show you uh, how custom formula function works in the Excel so I'll just clear this out and then again I'll apply the filter here is an option called custom sort so sorting is can be done in Excel so this is the table I have selected sort by department A to Z first sorting this add another level which is category category is Z to A okay the moment I press ok you will see the overall changes over here okay here is the options called case sensitive you can do that as well okay in ms excel it's a very wide uh, variety i would say sort and filtering in ms excel but for now we'll stay here only because as a business essential course uh, this is the you know not a mandate though but these are the required skills you should know when you are play with the data or analyze the data so sort and then by category place okay you would see the changes see how beautiful uh, option is the available in ms office 365 right and uh, i am proud to be a premium version uh, leveraging the premium version of ms excel microsoft 365 okay so far so we are done with the sort and filtering uh, so i'll mark this color as a yellow as we have always do right so so far we have covered this particular topics uh, and then we are coming to the next topic in upcoming video series. Thanks for watching.